But as Hashem is both we begin Hilchas Tzitzis, the laws of Tzitzis, which are the fourth out of the six halachas in the Sefer Av in the Book of Love, which Mitzvah says Achas is one positive commandment. Be that is Lasa Tzitzis Akaf Hektus to make the Tzitzis on the corners of the garment or bear Mitzvah explanation of this Mitzvah. The Prok are in these three chapters, which the first two discuss the making of the Tzitzis and the Tchelus, and the third pack discusses regarding the obligations of Tzitzis. Parakrishan. With that, we begin the first pack regarding the making of the Tzitzis. As Rama gets a regarding these two components of the Tchelus and of the love in the blue and the white wool. Anof sha'isn al knafa begin, the tassel which is like the branches that you make on the corners of the garment, mimin ha begin, should be from the same type as the garment itself, which if the garment's out of wool, the tzitzit should also be out of wool. If it's made out of linen, then the tzitzit should also be out of linen. Who and the good tzitzit is what's called tzitzit. Why is it called tzitzit? They should do the tzitzit should be similar to the, what we call the payas, the, the hair that come out, out of the corner of the head, Shemek says in the Apostle Yechezka, Kecheni B'Tzitzis Reishi took me by the corners of the hair of my head. B'Zel Anaf. And this branch, who are Nikra Lovin, this tassel is called white. Why is it called white? And they on the Mitzvah and because we have no command to dye the color of those strings that come out. Ve'in L'Chutei Anaf, Min Yeminatar. Biblically, there's no number of amount of strings that are necessary for the strands that come out from the corner of the garment. Halacha base. Now, you take a woolen thread, that is dyed the color of the sky, and you wrap that around this uh, tassel. And this thread is called tchelis. There's no measurement for the amount of times you have to coil around this thread, the blue thread around the white thread. Halacha gimel. So Nimtzu b'Mitzvah Zuch Nitzivim comes out that in this mitzvah there's two commands. She asa lekonaf anaf yitzim that you should make on the corner of the garment this tassel that comes out from it, and b'she yichrech ala anaf chut chelus and you should wrap around this tassel a blue thread. And I'm like says in the pasuk again by midbar v'aslam tzitzis they should make for themselves tzitzis v'nosnu al tzitzis akonaf they should put on the tzitzis that is on the corner psil chelus a blue strand. Halacha dalt now hat chelus ein ma'akav es eleven. The blue wool does not withhold the validity of the white one. But I love it. And the white one does not withhold the validity of the blue one. Kate said how so. So it actually depends regarding the blue one. Harish in the If it doesn't have trailers, I still love the only do the white the white strings. But he in also love the trailers. If you made the white and the blue, because the blue is only around the white. If you made the white and the blue, the nifs like eleven, and then the white tore, then the smite out of the corner, and it got totally diminished the white thread all the way up until the corner. And the nishar trailers about the only thing you have remaining now is the blue thread. Kasha, that's also going to be valid. Now, now, although one would not withhold the validity of the other one, as we said, but in Shtei Mitzvah, that doesn't make him two independent Mitzvah. It's one positive commandment. If it's someone wears a cloak, a four-corner garment that has uh, white strings or blue strings, or both together at the same time, he has fulfilled one positive commandment. Well, I'm a chacham Hashem because the earlier sage it says, says in the pasuk, "Bahaya lachem letzitzis." It should be for you as tzitzis. Bahaya, it says in the singular, not bahayu in the plural. Malam et shashnei mitzachas teaches that this, both of them are really this one mitzvah. Now, the abet tzitzis. Now, the four uh, tzitzis, meaning on the four corners of the garment, ma'ak vezu ezu, they will withhold the validity of the other one. Shabbat bat mitzachas because all four corners is one mitzvah. You can't have on two of the corners or three of the corners. All four are critical. Regarding the making of the tzitzis. Kate said, Oisin, that's tzitzis. How do you make tzitzis? So, Mascham is of a You start from the corner of the garment, she is safe for Arik, which is the end of the weaving. Now, you have to distance from the edge of the garment, not more than three finger breadths above, but it can't be less than the amount that is from the uh, lowest joint of the thumb till the edge of the thumb. Uh, on, until the edge of the fingertip, uh, the fingernail on the bottom. So you go from that last uh, joint until the end of the of the finger. So it can't be less than that, but neither more than three finger breaths. And you put inside the hole that you made, that's within that space that we described, four strands, and you fold them over in the middle. Nimza comes out there, you have eight strings since you put the four and now it's hanging from either side of the hole in the garment. You have eight strings that are hanging downwards, Tuluyim and Akaran that are hanging from the corner. Now the length of these eight strings, in Pachas Marbat's voice, should not be less than four finger breaths. Then Hoyo Yisrael Kinnev was more than that. Even the Amor or two, Kshirin, it's going to be valid. 
Now, B'chol Etzbay is all this that we described regarding finger breadth, like we said, it, has to be, it can't be more than three finger breadths from the corner of the garment, are by good law all men- measured with the thumb. Now, one of the eight strings should be a blue strand. The other seven should be white, which actually means to say, since it's four folded over into two, it means actually one of the strings actually half of it is dyed and the other half is not, thus making one of the eight as blue, according to the Rama. Now you take one of the white strings, and you wrap around one coil, one wrapping around the rest of the strings, on the side right next to the garment, in the first coil, and then you leave it. Then you take the blue string, and you wrap it around two times, right on the side of that first loop, that first uh, coil that you made of the white string, and then you tie it. The e, so you tie, make it like a knot. The elo ashalish krichas and hina krain. Now these three coils together, they're called chulia, a segment. Umarchim at, then you distance a little bit. Vaisa chulia shni, you make a second segment, but chuchal tchilas lavade only with the blue string. Umarchim at, and then you distance a little bit. Vaisa chulia shli, you make a third segment. Vechinat chulia krain, all the way up until the last segment. Shu krich bash tik krich ashal tchilas, that you wrap it around two times with the blue string. U krich achrain shalavan, but the last wrap around should be with the white string. Because you started with the white string, the first one. So Messiah, but you end with it because because you only elevate something in sanctity and you don't downgrade it. So since you started off with the white one, that gives it a significance. And the reason why is because the Pasuk mentions the white strings first. If you're not going to end with it, it's going to be downgrading it from its status from the beginning. Now, why do you start with the white string? So that it should be near the corner of the garment, it should be mina. The, the same type. And since most talitas are white, so we want that the white string should be the one closest to it, and then therefore it should end, because Mayal Mekoidosh Vemarid. And this is the way you do it by all four of the corners of the garment. How many segments should be made on every corner? So, not less than seven, not more than thirteen. And that's the choices we have doing the mitzvah. But if you only went and wrapped it around it only one segment, that would be valid. Now, if you wrapped around the blue string uh, uh, over the majority of the tzitzes, share it's going to be valid. But but the beauty of the blue string is that all the segments should be the upper third part of the, the strings hanging down, and the remaining two thirds should be onav, should be tassels coming out. But so and you have to separate the strings. Actually, that should be like the strands coming out from the hair of the head, that they should all be independent. If someone makes tzitzis with only white strings without the blue strand. Then you take one of the eight strings, and you wrap it around, you coil around all the rest of the strings, up until a third. You leave the remaining two thirds as tassel. Now this uh, coiling, if you want to coil it around with different segments, the way, as we mentioned, as you coil it around by the blue string, the person has that option, and that's our custom. But if he wants to wrap it around without any number of, of, of segments, you see, you could do that because the particularity was only with the wrapping of the segments was only by the trailers. Closer to the rule is she is kaven li sakarach shal shlish that the person should focus to intent that the coil should be a third of the tzitzit strings, but on the shnei shlishim and the tassel should be the other two thirds. Now, but yesh mishenim adakti b'davet b'zev b'lavin are those who are not particular regarding this when it comes if you're doing it with the white strings. Now, if you wrap the white string around the majority of the strings, or you only wrap it around one segment, shera that will be valid. Hello, chiyut. Whether we're talking about the white strings or the blue strings, if you want to make them entwined, which means to uh, spin a few into one, I you could do that. Now, even if the string was 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 uh, doubled over from eight independent strings, and but it was entwined until you make it into one strand, it's only considered as one strand. Regarding the invalid things. To make for tzitzis. So chuti had tzitzis. The the tzitzis strands being love and tchelis, whether it's white or blue. Tzrichin tzvi yolashem tzitzis has to be that the spinning when you spin the to make it into thread should be for the purposes of making it for tzitzis. 
and vein ice nice and you cannot make the tzitzit strings loimen that tzema neches bakaitzim can't be from the wool that gets stuck on the thorns kishatzayin rifts in name when the sheep are 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 laying amongst the thorns and it gets stuck in there you can't take those strings loimen the nimen hanet lashem ben abehema not from the hairs that get detached from the animal loimen shurah shasi and not from the leftovers of the wolf of. Uh, of a garment, which are these strings hanging out, that the weaver leaves over at the edge of the garment. And the reason why these are invalid because it says tzitzis hakonaf, which means it has to be like the garment itself, should be the tzitzis. And these three types are not really um, valid for making garments because they're, they're the invalid parts and no one would make a garment from these types of things. Neither can you make tzitzis from them. Ela rather than hagiza shall rather from the shearings when you cut off the wool, or from or from linen. So you cannot make it from stolen wool. It says, but also lehem tzitzis, they should make for them, which is from their own, not stolen. Which is either invalid, either because it's supposed to be burnt when you have a city that uh, they all did a Zara, and when it's like burnt, it's like it doesn't have a measurement, and tzitzis has a shear. Or, but lehem has to be from their own, and this is not their own anymore because it has to be burnt. And but the same thing is, from kachim is also not yours, and because it belongs to Hashem, they must, and if you made tzitzis from any one of these uh, places, possibly would be invalid. If someone bowed down to an animal, making it into an Abu Dazar, into an um, idol, its wool is forbidden for tzitzis. But if someone bowed down to flax that was planted, his akash is going to be valid, sharing the shtanah, because by the time you're going to turn it into linen, it's going to be already changed, it's already transformed, and if it's not the same thing, to be forbidden. Tzitzis that was made by a Gentile. Psul, it's invalid. Shemak says in the Pasuk, in Bamidbar, Dabel, Bnei Yisrael, speak to the Jewish people, but also tzitzis, they should make for them tzitzis, which is only a Jew. But if a Jew made it without intent, Ksher is going to be valid because what has to be made is the spinning. But the actual making of the tzitzis, that does not have to be done. And the tzitzis are nasim and awesome akoidim. However, tzitzis are made from what was already pre made, psula that's invalid. As Ramak says, what does that mean? So, hey, Vikanov, let's say he brings a corner of a garment from a different garment. Sheesh, but tzitzis already has tzitzis hanging on of it. Sometimes the whole corner of the garment gets torn off. Torn off. Now you go and you stitch that corner with the tzitz hanging onto another garment. Even if it has on that corner an ama squared, which is above the corner, which is um, only three finger breadths, and therefore the tzitzes are not bottled, as we'll see in the end of over here. So it doesn't have that problem. It would still be considered generally when it's the garment itself. You'd be able to sew it back on. Here, when it's coming from another garment, so that's going to be invalid. Because it says in the Pasuk, but also them tzitzis, they should make for them tzitzis, meaning they should make it, living also not from something that will be indirectly making something that already was made. Should they say, demo, let me should not smell This is like it was made by itself because you're not putting the tzitzis onto this garment. It was on the garment, and now by putting it onto this other garment, it's already pre made. You're not putting it on to the garment, and therefore that would be possible. Now, but you are allowed to untie the tzitzit string from one garment and to hang it onto another garment because that's not degrading for the mitzvah because you're using it for another garment. Whether the white strings or the blue strings. Let's say someone went and he suspended the strings between the holes on two corners. Now he went and he tied the knots of each corner according to its halacha. But they were still connected. And then they cut in the middle. Now the two corners were separated. Puzzle that's invalid. Why? Same reason. Because when you tied it on, they were invalid. Because the two corners were connected one with the other with the strings that were between them. And it has to be each one independently. Now when you detach them, it's making indirectly now the two tzitzias, which, because you didn't put it on in the right way, it's only becoming now retroactively in that way, Nimsa Isim also comes that you're making it from something that was already made, that would be invalid. Lochat as well, Hitl Tzitzis ala Tzitzis. Now, let's say someone had an appropriate amount of strings on his corner. Then he puts out another f- four strings onto those previous four strings. So it depends. In this Gamla Batal Sazhrain, if his intent was to nullify the first strings, let's say he doesn't they, he didn't like them, they weren't good enough. He wanted to make nicer ones. So he's, he just put on the new ones before he took up the old ones. But his intent was to nullify the first ones. Then matter is and then yeah, you could untie the first ones. or cut them off. It's going to be kosher because uh, with the second ones were done appropriately. It's not mina You put on the strings onto the four corner garment. But if in this gamma no hasa, but if intent was to add on to make more strings, which is not allowed to. That's baltaisin. I'll add on. So alpha bishul chotach achad mishdei. Then even if it cuts off one of the two of them, it already was invalid when you added it on. It wasn't kosher then because it was a baltaisiv. 
and for sure the new ones and even the old ones, Hari Zubsula, it's it's invalid because Shari Kishai when you add it on, Pasal Sakal, the whole tzitzis now is 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 the whole garment is invalid. So Kshihitu Khatakate Seb is when you go and untie or or cut off even the additional ones and like your remaining with the original ones doesn't make a difference. And then Sasha Nasan also comes out that the remaining, even what was originally there, which became Pasal, now it's like made from what was made by undoing something else. Shasyasi Rishani Bsula Isa because its original making was invalid. And therefore, the whole thing's invalid. Halacha tezayin. V'chein amata l'bala shalosh. So let's say someone has a three-corner garment and he puts tzitzis on. V'akach hashem l'arba and he makes it into a four-corner garment. He, he cuts out a fourth corner. V'hitol l'reviz and then he puts on the tzitzis strings in the fourth corner. Kul l'psul, it's all going to be invalid because the first three corners were done not according to the mitzvah because a talus that's three corners is not chayv mitzitzis. Shalom like says in Pasuk, again, tasa, you should make it, says in Devar Mechab Be'ez, b'lom and also not which is already made. You can't fold a garment over into two and now make it its own four corner garment because it's doubled over. And to put on tzitzes onto its four corners when it's folded over because the problem is it might get unfolded. Comes out that two of the tzitzes that are where the fold is are going to be now in the middle. Only if you stitch the whole thing where it's not going to become undone so it's always going to be on four corners. Even if you stitch it on one side as long as it's going to remain that's, then you could do it like that. If the corner that had the tzitzis, the corner of the garment got torn off. So it depends. If it was beyond three finger breadths from the edge of the garment, so that's like, a, like the garment itself. So And that's what we mentioned before regarding Amal Lama. So then you could just stitch it right back on its place. But with the three finger breadths, you cannot stitch it back on. The reason is because less than three finger breadths, it, not, it does not have the halachic shear of a kanaf, and the, the halach of the tzitzit becomes nullified. When you're going to stitch it back on, it's going to be tasa v'leim the asay, where it's going to be possible. But if it's more than three finger beds, then it's like, the, it's, like, it's, like it's still part of the garment, and therefore you could stitch it back on. Nismata zavash al If the corner of the garment became diminished, which is shebein chutei tzitzit, between where the tzitzit strings are in the hole, or being safe for the edge of uh, the weaving of the garment, meaning the hole that you put in, which is supposed to be um, above a certain point, it, it, it got lower down. So I feel in the shemina argel kasher. Even if it's not remaining from the weaving of the garment, only a minute amount kasher, it's going to be kasher. Even though you're not remaining with uh, what you said, it has to be at least a minimum of where it is from the last joint of the thumb to the end of its uh, of its finger. Because the only particular about that regarding when you're making it, where it says, but oslam tzitz al kamfei, has to be al kamfei uh, only when you're asu, when you're making it. But later on, it's okay. So if, let's say, the tzitz strings got diminished, but only like, the whole tzitz got cut off, and all you have remaining from the tzitz strings is enough to make a loop, kasher, it's going to be kasher, but if the string got detached from the place where it's connected to the garment, then even one of the strings would be psula, would invalidate the tzitz.